Hey guys, have you ever been curious about your electricity bill? I know I have been. You know, you can always look up your bill and it shows the total electricity consumption, but you can never tell what electrical device in your house is consuming exactly how much portion of that usage shown in the bill. To understand and be mindful of how to use your electricity and make the most out of it, the best way is to know the electricity consumption of each one of your electrical devices individually, or at least, you know, the power hungry ones or the primary ones. And this is the device which can tell you exactly that. And a little more information for the tech savvy people. It's called a plug-in power consumption meter. I bought it from Amazon Australia. You can look it up using the link in description below. Before we start, I would like to explain a little about how electricity is measured. If you already know about it, you're welcome to skip this part of the video. So any electrical device will have always have a power consumption rating, most probably in watts. For example, your microwave may be rated at around 1000 watts. Your air conditioner or a room heater um, would be rated at around 2000 watts or maybe more. Um, that is the instantaneous power consumption rating. When you use a device over time, um, could it, it could be seconds, minutes, hours, or even days, the total electricity consumption is calculated by the watt rating multiplied by time the device was in use. Usually it is multiplied by hours and that is how the electricity meter at your house main circuit board calculates your house's total power consumption. And that rating is taken into account by your electricity provider to generate an electricity bill for that total power consumption for a particular period of time. Now that we know how the electricity consumption and measuring works, let's get down to what this actually is. So as I said, this is a plug-in power consumption meter, just a generic brand and it's simple it's got four buttons um, the three on the right is for setting up the cost the left most one is the function one um, on this particular model this is the one which you will use to cycle through the information um, to set, set up the cost you need to know how much you're paying for one unit which is a kilowatt hour other than these buttons it's got the display obviously and then um, it's got a place to plug in the power cord of your device and then this whole thing plugs into the wall of red and you plug in the device over here i've been using it with my window air conditioner in the living room it's an old air conditioner and it's quite power hungry and i wanted to make sure um, how much i should use it to keep my electricity bill in control um, and that is the reason why i bought it uh, but it can be used with any other thing. Um, the important thing to know is this particular model is rated at 10 amperes. What this means is you can hook up any device which consumes up to 10 ampere of current. Um, if you connect um, a device which is rated over that current um, specification, this might not work. But um, I've been using it with my window air conditioner which is rated at a 15 ampere, but it still works. So can't complain let's hook it up so here is my um, air conditioner plug and that's the wall plug what I'm gonna do is I'll plug this in to the wall and then plug in my aircon on it and then turn it so as you can see it's got some reading over there already and that is because it memorizes what it's been recording it has been plugged into this power port for the air conditioning since you know, you can see what it shows over here is a kilowatt hour reading of 91.53 and a time reading of one day and six hours and 54 minutes. So this means the air conditioner um, had been used for one day, six hours and 54 minutes and it has consumed 91.53 kilowatt hours. If you want to calculate how much it would have been for you, um, you can do it easily with the use of the calculator. You must know um, how much you're paying for uh, a kilowatt hour. And for me, it's about 26 cents. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to multiply 91.53 into 0.26. And that's going to give me a value of $23.7978. So this means if I would have run this air conditioner for one day, six hours and 54 minutes continuously, this is what I would be paying for the user. So this is how it's good to know okay, the device is costing me all the time. This is giving me an idea of how much hours I should be using it. 
and um, yeah, it was about 20 bucks a day, which is quite expensive. And that's pretty much it about the power consumption and calculating the cost of your uh, device. Uh, apart from that, uh, as I told you, the function key shows you a bit more information, which is tells you how much voltage is coming in through this power port uh, frequency. That's 50 hertz. If you click it again, it, sh it will show you the amperage um, consumed by the device. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn it on, and um, let's see if that changes. As I've turned the aircon on, you can see the meter is now showing the reading of current, which means this is the current amount of current which is being used by the aircon at this very moment. If I click on this button, this means the voltage the lowest, and this means the highest. So this is the highest voltage the air conditioner has ever used. That's the cross section. I've never set it up. That's the instantaneous. Um, what is the aircon is using at the moment and that's the kilowatt hour so as you can see when I started it up it was at a different value and now it's increasing and also the time is increasing so yeah this is how it works